Hey y'all, it's Sheridan LeBay back with another Marketing Monday. But this might not be posted on Monday because it's a little time sensitive and I might post it before Monday. So you might be watching this a totally other random day of the week. But here I'm gonna do a quick video. Just wanna talk about the new feature on Twitter. Wanna get your feedback. What are you thinking? Do you like it? So if you have not noticed, um, well, I guess quick introduction. If you're new here, my name is Sheridan. I am a marketing consultant. I have a marketing agency called Untamed Marketing where we help small businesses market their business. Pretty straight to the point, right? Okay, so the T is all of these social media networks are literally fighting for our attention, which I think is hilarious, but they're also like kind of self-sabotaging themselves in the same manner. So we're not really here to talk about Instagram, but we'll talk about Instagram real quick. What is Instagram doing? So I'm kind of indifferent, but I'm also a marketer. So I have to be open to what my consumers are thinking. And it seems like a lot of consumers are annoyed with the new Instagram layout. So if you're on Instagram, every day we log in, it's a totally new layout. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy because like I'm tech savvy, but I'm also lazy when it comes to learning new stuff. And it's not a lot to learn. It's just like, you log in Instagram every day, you don't know what you're gonna say. You really don't know what to expect in general, period, on any social media app. But it seems like Instagram and Twitter are kind of in a little fighting battle because to my knowledge, I don't think Facebook owns Twitter, they just own Instagram. I should know this. It's a lot to keep up with, guys. And they're changing the buttons around, they're changing how you go about posting things. So on the one hand, Instagram came through with the Reels, where the Reels are getting a lot of engagement. So if you are on Instagram and you're trying to promote your business, Instagram Reels are the way to go. Like I get so many views on Reels compared to even just posting a video on my Instagram page or posting a video on my story. It's really weird how that works, but it's Instagram, their algorithm changes. It's prob they're probably working on another update as we watch this video. So if you're sticking with Instagram, Reels are the way to go if you're a content creator or business owner. They don't have to be overcomplicated. I know people make all these videos about do this and do that. Reels are for you to show your personality. Like honestly, you have 20 seconds if that, like just show your personality. They don't have to be, these well curated videos. I mean, I love watching them, but it's 20 seconds. Like do something that's gonna show your personality or if you, I just experimented doing a, and I'll put the video up here. I just experimented doing a cooking before and after. Like fun stuff, show your personality, add some music. Unfortunately, if you have a business account, you probably can't add music to it. So maybe you can add music off the app and then upload your video, but yeah. That's the only downside is certain accounts, certain business accounts can't put music on their reels. I've had clients who can and I have clients who can't, so I don't know what the threshold is of them determining that. Another pain about Instagram. So that's that on that side. So I was like a little resistant for the first 20 minutes that Twitter introduced Fleet, which is like tweet the fleet. <laughs> So Fleet is literally Instagram stories for Twitter. Um, it'll be interesting how they adapt it because on Instagram, if you have over a certain amount of followers, you can add links or swipe up feature. They don't have that yet as of the time of this video. They don't have that option from what I've seen because I follow a lot of big accounts and I haven't seen them use it, but maybe that'll be something they consider. I think Twitter is probably gonna be where it's at. I think if you're a content creator, definitely go back and forth. It doesn't hurt because you can just literally upload the same content to Instagram stories, to your reels and to fleet. That would be my content strategy because I know for me personally, I probably, between Instagram and Twitter, I only have the same followers on both, about 20% of my following. Outside of that, the people I follow on Twitter are not the same people I follow on Instagram. Because Instagram started off as more of a friend family thing than grew to a business versus Twitter. I recreated a Twitter three years ago. I started a new Twitter. So it's an entirely new 
focus that I have on there. So if it was me, if I was a content creator, a business, I'm probably just gonna post the same thing on both. Definitely post on Twitter. I think a lot of people are excited to see what their followers look like on Twitter because they, like, like me, I wasn't following a lot of the people I follow on Twitter on Instagram. So that would be my strategy. If you're a business or a content creator, until they get the swipe up link, whatever you're trying to promote needs to be your pinned tweet. So I will also post somewhere here. It's my first time doing a, a inbox picture in picture thing, but I'm gonna post it here. You're gonna be able to see how to pin a tweet if you don't know how to pin a tweet. I would change my pin tweets all the time too. Like I rotate mine, ugh, I rotate mine out about every week. But if you're a business who has a ton of traffic, I would rotate them out every two or three days. Post something cool in your story to get people looking and then they're gonna go to your page and then your first pin tweet needs to be a call to action, sign up for this course, buy this lingerie, attend this event, whatever it is. So just want to post a quick video because I'm sure a lot of people have not even known that Twitter did this update yet. So maybe this is your first time finding out. If so, surprise. But if you have tried it out, let me know what you think. Are you leaving Instagram now? Because Twitter has pretty much everything that you're looking for. Or are you also going to say on Twitter or on Instagram? I'm probably gonna ride the wave out and see what my engagement looks like, but I'm definitely gonna put more effort into my Twitter on the business side because some people probably are gonna be crossing over to Twitter because Instagram keeps changing a ton of stuff. So not only did Twitter get the feature, I'm tired of saying Twitter. <laughs> not only did Twitter get the feature of having stories, but they're in chronological order and you don't have to be bombarded with the whole shopping gallery. So it's gonna be interesting to see over the next month or so what the engagement looks like. If, if it were me, I would play both sides of the fence still put content on Instagram, but focus on your reels and IGTV lives or IG lives. And then, yeah, put some effort into doing some fleets. So let me know if this was helpful. Comment below, subscribe, share with some friends, share with your favorite business owner, friend, entrepreneur who is doing their social media themselves. If you are in need of social media consultations, marketing consultations, or you want to hire Untamed Marketing Agency, feel free to shoot me an email and we can get started. Until next time, I'm Sheridan LeBay. Talk to you later.